In this video, let's talk about ISP Manager Mail. So let's see how you can create a mail domain and add mailboxes. So if you want to be able to send and receive mail, what you can do is find a VPS provider that doesn't block the SMTP ports and you can use lots of different VPS providers that don't block these ports. Some of the smaller VPS providers will definitely not block the port. I think Contabo doesn't block the port. Hetzna will allow you to use the port if you request the mailing ports to be opened for you. To work with ISP Manager Mail, come here under Mail and I'm logged in as a user that I created earlier. So the first step in using Mail is to create a mail domain. When you're setting up a website, when you're adding your website on ISP Manager, you will always get the option to create a mail domain as well. In my case, I did uncheck those options and now we can create our mail domain. So I'll just come here. So under sites, let's see the site that we have and we can create a mail domain for the same site. So I'm just going to take that, copy, and I'll come back under mail and you can create a mail domain. So I'm just going to create mine now, create mail domain. I will paste. You can choose the IP address that you want to use. If you have multiple IPs on your server, you can select any IP to use. In my case, I'm just going to use that IP. And then the default action, if a mailbox does not exist, what do you want? Do you want to reply with an error or do you want to ignore and drop or redirect to email address? So in this case, I'm just going to reply with error. And of course, you want to set up DMAC. This is going to add certain records that you'll need to add on Cloudflare if you're using a third-party DNS provider like Cloudflare. If you're using ISP Manager for your DNS, then this will automatically get added to your DNS records. And then, of course, you want to secure SSL. Make sure that when you're adding a mail domain, you add some of these records as well on Cloudflare or wherever you're using your DNS from. Maybe you're using from Google or you're using just from your VPS provider. You can always add the DNS records. You'll just add an A record for mail.test. And I can do an example of this. So mail.test, I'm using a subdomain. Maybe you're using a full domain. So if I come here under DNS, we can add an A record and I'm going to add mail.test. And mail.test will need an IP. So I'm going to take that IP, copy, paste, and save. So ensure it is an A record mail.test with that. So this is mail.test because I'm using a subdomain. If it is not a subdomain, you just add mail instead of mail.test. And then you can use Let's Encrypt email. So you can add contact person email here, account, and I can create this account. You can see it's asking me to enable SSL and I'm going to enable SSL and I will issue a key of 1496 bits and then issue. So there we go. We have our mail domain. If you want to edit anything, just select it and then edit and you can change these details. If you don't need to use it anymore, you can disable, you can delete and so on. Let's go back and we can create a mailbox. Mailbox are the actual emails that you'll use. We can call it info, the domain, of course, I just want to use that domain. That's the only one I have. If you have multiple domains, you'll select the correct domain there. You can add aliases for this mailbox. Confirm the password. You can send a copy of your emails to another email. Every email that comes in, you want to send it to your Gmail account. You can add an email address there. And then disk space, maybe you want to give 100 MB of disk space. And then we're just going to create this email. There you have your mail. You can open the mail client. You can edit this mailbox. You can look at your mail client settings. Maybe you want to connect it with something. You can look at the mail client settings here. If you want to connect this with that party mail clients, these are the details you can use. I map that and that. And make sure that the DNS records for all this are working fine before you try to connect because they're not going to work if your DNS is not working. So I'm just going to come here, close that. Let's see what option we have on the mail client. So once you select it, once you select it, let's just click there on mail client. There you go. Info at test will automatically log in. Let's try and send an email and see if it's going to arrive. If you want to send email, you can just click there on compose. And I'm assuming that your DNS records are working and you're using a VPS provider that doesn't block the SMTP port. 
That's very important. If they block it, you won't be able to send mail. So let's just send, come to my panel and then come here. Let's see the MX records that we should add on Cloudflare. Manage DNS records. We need to add an MX record. Copy. If you come to Cloudflare, you'll just need to add an MX record, but make sure in the beginning, just add all these records, all the records that will be provided by ISP manager, just add them. I can just paste tests and the mail server will be mail.test priority. Let's use a priority of 10 and then we're going to save. So MX is responsible for mail. You can see my mail has been sent. Unfortunately, it has, it has gone into the junk spam folder, but this can be fixed. If you want to fix that, make sure you add all the correct DNS records. If you come to your panel, there are certain TXT records that you'll need to create. So like this, this is DMARC. And then there's another one for SPF, this one. You create this and you also add a reverse DNS, a DNS for your server. And that will require that you have a working host name on your server. That's just something that you need to do. And this is going to help in authenticating your server as a trusted mail server. So if you're not receiving your mail, your port, your SMTP port is probably blocked. And that means that you will need to talk to your VPS provider to unblock it for you. Or you can just move to a different provider. So just in brief, before you can create a mailbox, you have to create a mail domain. Mail domains will usually get created by sites. When you add a site, it will automatically add a mail domain. If it doesn't, you can come in here and add it manually. And I will create. So you can see. That's been created. Let's come here and see if the DNS records were created as well. So you can see when you even when you create the mail domain, it will automatically create the DNS records that you require. So if we select that and we check it, you'll see that all the records have been added for that domain. If you're using Google, put them on Google. If you're using Cloudflare, put them on Cloudflare. That's the end of this tutorial. If you have any questions, feel very free to let me know.